Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It is 2022. New year, new bag. JK, not new bag, but a different bag to show you guys. And I am back this year to show you what's in my bag since you really love these videos every single year. I think this might actually be my third year doing this and every single time you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I figured I'd come back and show you what's in my bag this year. So at the moment, I am currently carrying my new Chanel 19. This is a small one in the caramel color. As you guys know, I have a newborn. So we haven't really had the chance to go out that much, especially now with Ontario being in a complete lockdown Again. So there's not that much that's in my bag at the moment, just essentially bare essentials for me when I go out and run errands, do groceries, pick up things for Walmart for my kid, or for going over to visit our relatives or some friends. There's nothing really crazy in here, but I figured I would show you what's in my current bag anyway, so you guys can kind of see a life of a first time newborn mom in Ontario and what she carries around. So let's just jump right into the bag. So as I mentioned, I'm currently using my Chanel 19. This is a small caramel color. I typically like to actually use this a lot more as a crossbody since it does have a strap up here and then if I'm really lazy I just want to put in the crook of my elbow I just stick it through the top here but I try not to do this just because I find that this kind of pushes down on the top of the bag quite a bit and I do want it to maintain its shape so yeah I use the crossbody and I don't really use the top handle that much but you can use it as a top handle if you would like it's just not what I really gravitate to so as you guys also really know I have a love for some Morgan bag organizers and I haven't yet acquired one for this bag but I do plan on it just because this bag is quite I would guess you would say less rigid than all the other ones that I have which is actually shocking because I like my bags to have a lot of structure this is probably the first slouchy bag I've purchased in a long 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 time this is probably as close as you're gonna get to like a hobo style bag for me with like really soft leather but I really like the pillowiness of it and I thought it was really cute so I was like this is gonna be mine it's gonna join my collection that being said because it is so soft and fragile you do need a bag organizer and something to kind of help hold its shape so I'm hoping to pick one up from some more soon I do also need to get one for my LV toiletry 19 so I might just get a little haul and then share with you guys everything that I get from them but in the meantime there's no organizer yet there will be one eventually so Let's just dive right inside and I'll show you everything that I have. So in this bag, there is a back flap here. I have nothing in here at the moment just because, I don't know, I don't really feel I need to put anything into here. Chances are I might just end up putting like loose receipts and papers here and there in the back. I actually really like this bag because there's a magnetic clasp on the back little pocket here. A lot of the other Chanel bags that I have with the back pocket don't have that magnetic clasp. It's literally just like a slide in pocket. So things can fall out. Although I'm literally only putting receipts in, so I don't know how easy it'll slide out anyways, but it's just nice to have a little closure here just for peace of mind, essentially. So inside it, otherwise there is a zip compartment in the back and then it's just one huge wide, I guess, compartment in the center. In the zip compartment in the back here, this is what I keep here. At the moment, I just have, like I said, some receipts. I haven't transferred them to the back pocket yet. I'm pretty sure at some point when I get too lazy to open my bag to throw things in every single time, things will eventually start to migrate to the back pocket. But in the meantime, I'm keeping them in the zip compartment. Typically, I would actually have my authenticity card in this, but since Chanel recently switched to having those like RFIDs built inside of the bag, you can't even tell where they are. And they have these little plaques on them. I have this plaque in here denoting what like the uh, serial code for this bag is. I no longer have authenticity cards to put into the compartments inside of the bag, which is kind of nice because then I don't have to worry about losing them. But also at the same time, kind of poo poo because I can't really see easily what the serial codes are. You got to like really look inside. Luckily, this bag is really malleable so it's easy to tell but I'm sure with other bags that are a little bit stiffer it's gonna be really difficult to be able to read the serial code number inside here but let's just dive right inside to the bag and see what else I have first off typically I have my phone but I'm currently using this phone as a screen for me to be able to see what I'm currently filming so the phone is not in the bag but usually yes I love that you can fit the phone right into the bag it's nice and big and it has lots of storage space inside here so I have the iPhone 12 Pro but not the 12 Pro Max and it just goes right in comfortably Tons of space right in here. Besides that, first things first, there's always a scrunchie or a hair tie of some sort because you never know if I'm going out without my hair tied up and you do need to put it up. You want to have something available to you. So I always throw in one scrunchie. And then at the moment, I believe I have two lip balms. I don't know why, but I am that type of girl for sure who has an accumulation of lip products in her purse at any given point. There will always be more than one, at least. 
at one point, I think I had like five or six in one of my other purses and I was like, eh, this is too much Vic. You gotta get rid of some. So I managed to cut it down a little bit and in here, I actually have two of them. So let me just pull out these two here. Nope, I lie, I have three guys. Like I said, I'm that person who collects a bunch of lip products in their purses. So I have three. I'm gonna show you which ones I have at the moment. I have the Agave Bite. Um, I think this is the lip balm. It's a little bit of like a firmer one because it doesn't melt as easily on your lips. So it's a little bit thicker and it takes a little bit of more effort to kind of rub it on. So I have that in here for my extra, extra chapped dry lip days because it's really thick. I also have this one from, I forget this, what this brand is called. It's Korean one. It's just like a simple lip balm. You roll it up really nice and smooth. It glides on super easily. If I just want to throw something on to just hydrate my lips super quickly, this is the one that I use. And then last but not least is this tinted lip balm from Lee Swatier. This is from their holiday collection. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it was inspired by a lot of like gems and crystals and jewels. So it has these like really cool little Swarovski thingies on the top of the bullet here. And then when you open it, it's actually a tinted lip balm. So it looks really dark color wise, but when you actually apply it to your lips, it's a very faint pigment. It doesn't really show that much, but it's highly, highly moisturizing and very nourishing on your lips. So I like that. It literally looks like a lipstick, but it's not. It's just like a pigmented tinted lip balm. So I like that. So I have all of these three currently in my purse and they all serve different purposes. This one I said from Bite, if I need a lot of hydration, I use that. If I need something quick and I can just like gloss over my lips, then I use this one. And if I want something with a tinted color, then I use this Lee Swatier one. Besides that, inside of my purse, I also have my wallet. This is my Chanel card holder. I've actually added a couple new cards to here recently. Our baby now has a health card and me being the mother and since our baby is a newborn, it's not going anywhere without me. This is a little bit thicker. I now also carry his health card in here with me as well. I actually replaced my Costco membership card with this one because Peter never goes to Costco without me anyway. So I figured I would just give it to him and he's always the one pumping gas. So give it to him so that he can just like swipe it or show it. I don't know how you pump gas at Costco because I never do it, but I'm always in the car with him. So he just keeps it on himself now. And yeah, so I essentially replaced our Costco membership with our son's health card in my wallet now. Just the life of a first time mom and just essentially a parent, I guess. And then the only other thing in here besides that is my compact mirror because you always need one wherever you go. This is just like a really small one that I got from Bioderma years ago. I like it because it's quite wide actually and you can snap it shut. It has two sides with different magnifications and it's really easy to throw into your bag. I don't really like circle compacts. I like these square ones a lot more, which is why I kept this one around for the longest time. Typically, I also carry a set of keys with me in my purse too, but since I'm not currently really leaving the house by myself to go anywhere, I am always with Peter and he always has his keys and we just drive. I have just decided to omit keys from my bag at the moment just to alleviate the weight a little bit, just to make it a little bit lighter since it's gonna be carrying a lot of other things like a diaper bag. This has got to be as light as possible. And then besides that, I usually also have hand sanitizer in here, but we always have hand sanitizer in the car and I'm not really going anywhere besides driving. So anytime I get in and out of the car, I just use a pump in the car. And like I said, it helps me to alleviate the load in my purse a little bit more. So yeah, that's essentially all that's in my purse. Like I said, there's not much right now. Usually I would have a lot more such as like keys, hand sanitizer, a mask. Mm, I try not to keep my mask in my purse just because I don't want to introduce germs into here. When we leave and come and go from the house, I have a little hook outside next to our door where we hang up all of our masks. So I just grab one there when we leave and then pop it back up when we come home, which is why I don't have it in here. But I think that honestly is it. If it was a summertime, I probably would also have my Ray-Bans in here, but we're in the dead of winter right now. So I don't. So yeah, that's everything that's currently in my purse for 2022. And this is at the moment, the purse that I'm using the most. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that I guess a roundup of everything that's inside it. I know it wasn't much, like I said, but I know if you guys are curious and nosy, I am too. I like to see what people carry inside of their purses, but yeah, that's essentially it. So if you guys want to see more from me, make sure you are subscribed. That way you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video and it will wind up in your subscription box. Otherwise, if you guys do want to see more of me off of YouTube, you know where to find me on Instagram and on TikTok. I post on both of those sites quite often. Sites, they're not sites platforms. There's social media platforms. Otherwise, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Let me know what you guys keep in your purses. I'd love to see what weird odds and ends that we all store in our bags. I know mine's pretty standard. There's nothing too strange in there right now. But yeah, that's essentially it. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.